Jonathan, I see what you're doing. You are watching porn right now. How do you know? Yes, I was in a hypnagogic state and did remote viewing. Okay, wait. I'll be right there and watch. Hello, dear Matrixers. Welcome again with the Matrixers, with the wonderful, attractive Jonathan and the charming Shiva. Yes, our topic today is that hypnagogic state. And since we are currently work intensively on the pineal gland workshop, this will be an online seminar, a very exciting online seminar. We thought there will also talk about the hypnagogic state that we will give you the video that we made for it. And if you are interested in the pineal gland workshop, it's about descaling, about detoxification, what options you have to activate the pineal gland and stimulate. Then we have a lot of exercises for the pineal gland to provoke DMT distribution. And what else do we have in there? What is ours all about? Wonderful workshop about the pineal gland, about spiritual nutrition, exactly means how best to eat around his pineal gland automatically. Activate step by step and to experience many paranormal experiences like out of body travel, lucid dreaming, remote viewing, hypnogenic conditions, realizations. One suddenly may have pineal flashes. And many other skills are automatically set up step by step. And then we have a part of this online seminar that we are currently working on and will probably be finished shortly. We have just now a video for you where we, for example, talk about the hypnagogic state. This is a really awesome state in which you have a lot of knowledge and can make experiences. Anyone interested in this pineal gland online seminar, he can register and register here at this address and become one. We will let you know as soon as that seminar is online, what in the next shortest time will be. A question of the day, of course, to match the topic. The question has the young man, Frank, posted us under each video, and that's why we thought answer Frank's question. Frank asked, Dear Matrixer, thank you for this very valuable video. I have a question about the function of the pineal gland. According to Dieter Brewers, you can do a functional test of this organ in which one imagines certain colas in front of the closed eyes. What is your opinion on this, if known? Greetings, Frank. If close your eyes and focus on the closed eyelids and imagine any color is correct, if the color is pretty quick as to be seen and comes, then it proves it already from a quite active pineal gland. But it's not bad if there is no color immediately or so. You can do that too through certain techniques, provoke that it is always easier and easier. And yes, at some point you can see the colors simply automatically because the pineal gland is so active. I mainly see purple. I always see purple or yellow concentric circles or wormhole things, but primarily purple and yellow. Well, that's the same with me. So yellow and purple always prevail. They also appear on their own when I close my eyes. If I, me, for example, imagine a different color like green or something, I'll get it even if I focus on it. So that's right. So you could put this test in the room, so obligatory, so to speak. And of course, Dieter Brewers is also very good recommended what's so activation affects the pineal gland because I had contact with him a few times. And yes, a good man. He knows what he is about talks. 
And yes, a loving greeting at this point. Yes, exactly. That was our question of the day. So you can do this test and can, of course, also use it to test the activated pineal gland or how active the pineal gland is. If you no longer look at the colors must introduce, but she alone emerge, you know the pineal gland is already active. But there is always more. And as another test is that you look into a dark room when your watching goes to sleep. And there on times the closed eyelids concentrated. And look, whether you can see many millions of small white dots, this is also an indication that something is going on in the pineal gland. Or if you notice the sparks of light that flash in the ground, they are also called flashes of thought. Then you can see that something is going up there. So much for our tests and exercises. Exactly. Then I would say, let's talk about the hypnagogic state. For that, we show you the video. Have fun. You know him very well too, hypnagogic state. That's my favorite. This is my favorite state of mind. In the hypnagogic state, we speak of a state between sleeping and waking, right on the border. That means you don't fall asleep, but you're not awake either. And you can tell the hypnagogue state by that you're in bed, for example, thinking about your day, what you experienced with when you talked, who you met. And one day you come so in a state in which the whole considerations or thoughts or ideas that you make yourself suddenly become independent. And that's where the subconscious takes over at that moment. And that's called the hypnagogic state. That's where it starts. The moment the images and the actions become independent without having to interfere or want to interfere at all. How about you with the hypnagogic state? Yes, you can clearly feel that the frequency is normally we so in the beta area. And if you look at then you lie down and relax, then you clearly notice like that clicks and the frequency in the alpha or theta range changes. That means you suddenly become completely in your head relaxed and then you suddenly change. And if you practice and train and do it really often, then you come to higher ones ranges, frequency ranges in the hypnagogic state and can have experiences, then it is much faster. One is on much more awake. And yet you have the experience, that means you have the feeling that you are still fully awake, but you are already hypnagogic. That means in the hypnagogic state, you experience something like making contact to your higher self. Suddenly you hear it talking and there are tips, or you go remote viewing. That means you go to strange places in this world and see what happens there. Or you, you go with the consciousness, a completely strange world, and see or watch aliens. Or you suddenly see dream pictures, or pictures that should convey a certain message to you. Or you can switch to the lucid dream if you can keep it up. Because mostly you startle relatively quickly because suddenly a realization comes in. Or someone talks to you and then you perceive that. And then what was that now? You have to train that so that you don't immediately switch out again. In the beginning, however, you are easily startled and then you are out of the state again. And then you can go in and out and out. Yes, you have to stay very cool there. Really cool. I really have to pretend as if it were the most natural thing in the world, to suddenly hear voices or any pictures appear that you did not expect. The hypnagogic state is also a good way to stimulate the pineal gland. Of course, you first have to learn not to fall asleep. You have to train that for a long time. I trained that really long. So for about two hours every day I slept and tried to stay conscious. Just don't fall asleep and not thinking about it either. Always delaying the moment of falling asleep. I think it's best to practice in the afternoon if it's not completely dark because you're not so inclined to fall asleep so quickly and to delay more and more at that moment. Later, you can of course do that in the evening in bed, even if it is dark.
So slowly increase until you can train that. I am currently doing this again. It is fun. I yes, I really recommend the hypnagogue state because you really get insights and really in direct contact can also produce also to his listening self with whom he can speak. One can hear the voice of the higher self or to other beings or to the spirit guide or no idea who, to any entities. So there it is. Because the filters are all gone, you can suddenly notice it. Above, suddenly you can hear clearly just or clairvoyance. You can also see the future. The hypnagogic state is pretty freaky. Yes, that is very beneficial because you really are on the threshold between sleeping and waking. And as you say, the filters of the ego are dropped. And that's the big advantage. You can pull out much, much more of information or remote viewing, trips to other places, contact with other entities is quite possible. And you can see a little bit what the pineal gland is capable of. You can already see that. That is a bit like Mirko DMT. Yes, since we are already in the hypnagogic state, that is during nighttime sleep, we present you as an exercise that you can do and maybe you should to really push and stimulate the pineal gland a bit to make the whole experience yourself. For that, you take an evening and a night time. It's not really a lot of effort, but it means that you already relatively soon to bed, so not after midnight, so it's best to go to bed at 11 p.m., right? At 11 p.m., you go to bed in the evening. Of course, we can't do that here. But at 11 7 p.m., we go to bed. And now you're going to sleep a bit. So that the body just gets the feeling, yes, I had my sleep, and I am relaxed. And everything is good. That means we go to bed at 11 p.m. Maybe then make hours, exercise you want from the exercises that you've got to know now and afterwards, you can fall asleep calmly. The alarm clock, however, should be set beforehand and wake you up. Then you stay awake for half an hour and then go back to bed. Everything is dark. All is calm. And then we start the initiative exercise. That was the one with the fingers on the eyes to get us in tune, so to speak, for the pineal stimulation. Exactly. And then you do the DMT breathing exercise. You can do it best then. Listen to the audio file for that we included. You can download them at the bottom of the list. Yes, there you do the DMT breathing exercise. And then you focus on that sparks of light. Look at the sparks of light. How do they behave? Just imagine that you are a passive observed spark of light. And at the same time, one listens to the stream of consciousness and tries to find out the hum. Or when you hear the hum, try it with the inner intention, with the inner desire power, to amplify, to be able to hear it even better. And that's what you do to get more into the hypnagogic state, to stay between sleeping and waking. And then watching how the pineal gland reacts. It's very exciting when you see the state, the hypnagogic state can last a whole night. Then you go on very exciting trips. I can tell you that, indeed. And mostly not in this dimension. Yes, we hope you enjoyed the video. That's just part of our online seminar, the pineal gland, the Lovecraft workshop. It's about the third eye. And yes, we would be happy if you write in the comments below how you liked the video, what you have experienced in hypnagogic states. Yes, that would be great. A few comments from you. Maybe you have already experimented with the hypnagogic state. And yes, if you can think of something, something exciting, 
The hypnagogic state also opens the channels to the subconscious, to hearing yourself, for remote viewing, and there you can already have an exciting experience. In any case, we are happy that you were watching. See you next time. Until next time. Öffnet er die Kanäle auch zum Unterbewusstsein, zum höheren Selbst, zum Remote Viewing und äh, da kann man schon spannende Erfahrungen machen. Mhm. Ja, jedenfalls freuen wir uns, dass ihr zugeschaut habt und ähm, bis zum nächsten Mal. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao. Ciao. Quote of the day. The unconscious is, so to speak, the top soil from which consciousness grows. Carl Gustav Jung